Hi Taurus, welcome to your February 2017 monthly general tarot scope reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I already shuffled all your cards and laid the spread uh, just to save time on camera. Those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Leanne, nice to meet you, and you will probably eventually meet my dog Mason who seems to be the mascot around here. Um, a few quick uh, little things guys before we get into your reading. Last month, I sent out your mid-month updates for all 12 signs, along with a few other blog posts. If you are on the email newsletter list, uh, then you received this in your inbox. If you know you're on the list and you did not receive them, then please check your spam folder because the emails might have landed in there. And go ahead and put my email, leanne at theintuitivepen.com, on your white list so that um, we don't land in your your spam folder next time you know what's the point you signed up for it you know you want your updates so uh you know why not get them right so make sure that we're on your white list and then those of you who are not on the newsletter email list i encourage you to sign up for it because it's good stuff that comes out the mid-month update is for all 12 signs they're channeled channeled messages through writing new moon full moon posts as well as future content that's coming out um, and so you don't want to miss it so the link is in the description box below also you guys i'm taking some time off in the month of february I don't know for how long yet, a week, 10 days, maybe longer. So if you wanted a reading, now is a great time to order one. Um, and you can still take advantage of the New Year uh, reading sale that's going on. I think it goes until February 10th. So take advantage of the sale price and book yourself a reading before I go on a long vacation. Okay? So... Let's move on to your reading. This is very interesting. So in your situation position, now the situation either represents you individually or your, your situation, your circumstance, your environment, your home, or the energies that are swirling around you. We have the five of cups in the reverse position for Taurus. So the first meaning of this card is that um, whatever happened below, what uh, below, whatever happened before, that was low. It's like my mind is like, you know, fusing words together. That you sustained a blow, okay? This card in the reverse position typically means that that the loss, the, the disappointment, the um, betrayal, all of that stuff, the grief, the pain is now ending. It's coming, it, it's not, you know, it's coming to a close or it's getting better. For some of you, it might still feel kind of raw, but every day it gets a little bit better. So the pain is going to be leaving you as time moves on. It's already gotten better for a lot of you and you're more able to function now than before. Um, so the pain is ending, you know, the revival of life, the revival of, you know, just enthusiasm and, and encouragement for the future, feeling more hopeful about things, good news could come in for you or your confidence is coming back now. And, you know, things are gonna be turning for the better, dealing constructively with issues. Now, for some of you, this could mean the extreme negative meaning in the reverse position, which means extreme and extreme painful ending and inevitable, inevitable loss. Um, unexpected drastic changes or something happens out of the blue, you know, something shocking that just comes out of left field. Um, so I suppose that that is, you know, a potential for some of you, but for the majority of you, this means that the pain is ending. This is your current situation. And based on these other cards, I mean, you've already gone through a nightmare, okay? And you're kind of coming out of the other side of it. Now, in your past position, your past to your recent past, even still kind of somewhat in your present, and or the challenge that you have been faced with is the strength card in the upright position. Moral force, confidence, inner strength, faith, faith in, you know, in spirituality or religion, faith in you know what I'm saying, a higher power, um, faith in yourself, faith in the situation, turning around, faith in the other person, whatever. 
strength, strength deep within you, inner strength, physical strength, emotional strength, spiritual strength. Now this is in your past, which means that you've had to be strong during this nightmaric situation or whatever the blow was that you sustained. It also means that it's been a challenge for you. It's in the challenge position. So you've had a hard time maintaining your level of strength. This situation could have been something that actually broke you, brought you to your knees, and therefore you felt completely depleted strength-wise, and it brought a forced change into your life that changed you on a deep level, okay? In the foundation position or what can't be changed is the Page of Cups upright. So, I mean, this is a pretty good card. I mean, the Page of Cups, it's like the birth of new emotions, okay? And this is the foundation of what can't be changed. So whatever blow you sustained or nightmare you've been dealing with has brought about a change of emotions or new emotions. This forced you to reinvent yourself, okay? So it's, you know, it's never an easy task when you are a wounded warrior, you know what I mean? And trying to turn your crappy story into something productive that you can move forward with. But there has been new emotions that has, you know, been born as a result of this situation. And this card can also indicate the beginning of a friendship, the beginning of meeting new people, uh, new friendships, new adventures, new networking. Maybe this situation brought somebody into your life that helped you through it. You made a new friend or you got a guidance counselor or a psychologist or somebody that you can go to in a time of need that has been a, se a sense of um, uh, you know, warmth for you, a pillar of strength for you, that kind of thing. Okay. Now this can, I mean, obviously indicate discussions of, of feelings, new chapters and milestones. Uh, people might be starting to invite you out to try to try to get you out of this. Like you sustained a blow. So your friends are coming around saying, Hey, come out with us. Let's go do this so that you're not at home, just sulking in your misery. That could be going on here as well. People have been trying to take care of you. This card can indicate a new relationship as well. So for some of you, maybe there was a blow that you sustained and it brought in a new love interest or it's going to bring in a new love interest. Others of you, the blow that you sustained was your partner finding a new love interest. And so therefore... Uh, it's been a very difficult time for you. So the foundation of what can't be changed, again, manifesting in many different ways for everybody. Um, and it's just, it's not all fun and games, though, where this card is concerned. You can't just say, oh, it's only invitations, social invitations and gatherings and parties. There is pain, hurt, and turmoil that is involved with this, especially as it comes down the line. Uh, directly above this is the five of cups in the reverse position, which indicates an emotional loss, an emotional blow, sadness, grief, and despair. Now, up here, what's crowning your reading or the umbrella, okay? It's kind of like an umbrella. It's an overview or an overlay of energy surrounding your environment or just your life is the nine of wands. I'm sorry, the nine of swords, not wands, the nine of swords in the upright position. This is the nightmare card. Despair, sadness, restlessness, even sleepless nights or, you know, personal torment, in internal conflict or being under extreme stress where this situation is concerned. So a lot of you, you know, just struggling with this. It's a constant struggle. It's a constant struggle. You feel defeated. You feel depleted. You feel deflated. So a lot of you have already sustained whatever this nightmare is because, again, the nightmare is up here. Directly underneath it, the Five of Cups says that this is going to be getting better. So a lot of you have already had this blow hit you. And it's revolving around this Page of Cups. Now, whether this is a person or a situation, write me and let me know. Some of you, very few of you, so don't start freaking out. You have not sustained this blow yet. This is something that's coming in for you. So there's a nightmare on the horizon. It's going to require a lot of strength. And um, this is an extreme loss, an inevitable loss. Something is meant to leave your life, okay? And so that could be coming in here for you, and it's revolving around the Page of Cups. Um, but there's something here that's meant to be because there is a growth opportunity here, a silver lining, a life lesson, 
uh, and the renewal of feelings, renewal of feelings even within yourself. This situation could be forcing you to get back in touch with who you are because maybe you lost yourself over the years in this situation. So that's very interesting. I feel for most of you, though, you've already sustained the blow and you're going to be coming out of it. In your future position or the potential solution to dealing with this, you have the Eight of Wands in the upright position, which is full steam ahead. This is like the Braveheart, you know? Every time I see this card, I think of Braveheart. Mel Gibson sitting on the horse with the blue war paint on his face, charging into the crowd. Go, go, go. So again, you see this? It's like a banner or a scroll around here. This is like divine intervention, guidance from above, okay? Divine birds are always, you know, divine anything. Eight of Wands, fire energy, full steam ahead, swift action. Just, you know, going with it, making changes, smooth and rapid progress, even experiencing quick results as, as, a, re, as a result of you taking the initiative and stepping forward. Um you could be traveling and there won't be any hindrances. You could uh, be moving at a fast pace and there won't be any obstacles. The end of delays around this situation is coming in for you, which is very good, very positive and uplifting. It's great. You're going to be broadening your horizons, expanding your mind and or even entertaining new ideas. So that's in the future and or the solution position. So what spirit is trying to get you to do is get yourself out of this emotional rut that you've been stuck in. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, pull yourself up by the bootstraps and get to work on something, get going on something, move ahead. Um, because that's the only way you're going to get out of where you're at. How you see yourself, you have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright position. Isn't that a beautiful card? This is how you see yourself. So, Taurus, you see yourself as the person who wants to step forward and do more, be more, reach for more. And the Ace of Pentacles, a fantastic money card, obviously, but you know, the windfall of money, a helping hand, okay? But this is also spiritual guidance, divine intervention, and divine timing. Spirit is coming from behind the scenes, out through the clouds, to help Taurus move on. And you're feeling this vibration deep within you. This is how you see yourself. You see yourself. There's a stirring within you to get out and away and break free from whatever this is and, and create. Turn over a new page. Create a new chapter in your life. You know, you want to write a new story. That's how you see yourself. So this is all about new beginnings. This could be even be new beginnings in money, new beginnings in career or business, financial improvement, new beginnings in just how you see yourself and wanting to step forward and creating something for yourself. This could be creative endeavors or stepping out as an entrepreneur, starting your own business or doing your own creative projects, okay? Prosperity and abundance are strongly tied to this card. Whatever it is that you step out and start on your own, whatever it is, whatever kind of venture, it's going to be successful. And it's going to raise your vibration, raise your income, raise your status in society. You're giving yourself a promotion. That's how you see yourself. Your fear is the wheel of fortune in the reverse position. So you're fearful of there's a party that wants to step forward, but you haven't totally done it yet or to break free from whoever this is or whatever the situation is because you're scared you're going to fail. Failure. Bad luck, misfortune, you know what I mean? A turn for the worse. What goes up must come down. You're just scared that you're not going to be successful. You're scared that you don't have what it takes. You're scared that nobody is going to care or nobody's going to be there to support you or you're going to be out there alone on a limb and just totally vulnerable. That's your fear, okay? The outcome, Knight of Cups in the reverse position. I wish this was in the upright position, but it's in the reverse position. This is the tricky dick card. Not a good card to have, Taurus, okay? Illusion, lies, deceit, half-truths, manipulation, uh, narcissism, deception, even seduction, okay? This could be somebody, this is somebody coming into your life or somebody already in your life. Some of you already know who this is. Some of you have yet to meet them. They're going to come in and try to play you for a fool and take you for a ride. 
or come back to your life and do and try to do that tricky dickster you can't trust this person they talk a good game they're mr flower mouth you know what i mean or miss flower mouth but really they're a crook they're a player they're immature con man is definitely attached to this so this is very interesting um, I'm getting the advice here that if you do step out and away from whomever this is and you step out on your own, be careful who you team up with because this person isn't all they say they are and their handshake is not worth the weight in gold. Also, if you try to break free from this situation and step out on your own and the, a person attached to, to this situation back here tries to follow you and come back into your life, don't fall for it. Okay, they are an ex for a reason, an ex lover, ex partner, ex spouse, ex family member, ex friend, ex business partner. Don't let them come back around and try to get a piece of your action moving forward. You have what it takes to step forward and do what you need to do and do what you want to do. This fear that you have is an illusion because you are doubting yourself. You got spirit on your side and you have the cosmic green light telling you to go for it. There's somebody that's going to try to leech off of you. Leech, manipulate, deceive. No good. I mean, this is a person who wants to take, take, take. They're going to be coming back at you with their hand out, wanting a hand out, wanting a piece of your action. Okay? Let's get some clarity here. Can we get some clarity on the Nine of Swords in the upright position for Taurus? Nine of Swords in the overview position of their reading. What do they need to know about the Nine of Swords upright? Nine of Swords upright. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Nine of Swords. Taurus, 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 Nine of Swords. Seven of Swords in the reverse position. Wow. You're going to be receiving an apology. An apology from someone who has done you wrong or who has put you through the ringer. Okay? There could be somebody who's going to even try to come back to make, you know, contact you or get back in touch with you or get back into your good graces. Receiving an apology. If there was goods or property or money that was taken from you, borrowed from you, or stolen from you, this can indicate that there's going to be a return of that as well. Um, and or somebody could be showing you appreciation. However, I'm getting the vibration that this is attached to whoever this Knight of Cups is for some of you. This is a false facade. This is a false apology. This is them trying to whittle their way back into your life because that's what parasites do. Okay, so be very careful in extending yourself to that. Two of Pentacles, upright position, juggling money, robbing Peter to pay Paul, or moving your assets around in order to protect them from somebody, or moving your assets around in order to you know, diversify your portfolio, taking uh, investments out of one area, putting it in somewhere else because you think it would do better. Also, juggling a lot on your plate responsibilities and everyday tasks juggling home life and career life and the kids and whatever so that's gonna you're gonna be busy as a result of that the Hierophant card in the reverse position breaking with convention thinking outside of the box unorthodox solutions to dealing with this problem so if you've been stuck in this nightmare the nine of swords for a while and you're not sure, I, you know, you're waiting for that solution. You're not, not sure how to handle it. Spirit's trying to tell you, stop thinking within the confines of your own mind. Think outside of the box because it's going to be an unconventional solution that's going to bring you the relief. Seven, or, I'm sorry, seven, I almost said wands. Cups, upright position. You're going to have a lot of options. This is scattered energy. This is feeling ungrounded in this situation. And you're not sure what move to make. Three of Pentacles, reverse position, problems at work, uh, problems with a project, lack of ambition, drive, and focus, or dealing with somebody who is not carrying their end of the, the deal, you know, carrying their weight or whatever. Somebody that you cannot rely on. This can even be problems at home with partnership, not being able to rely on your spouse or them giving you a difficult time. Knight of Pentacles in the upright position. 
slow and steady, tangible progress on your part, okay? You're going to feel a little bit of a, of a push and a pull where this situation is concerned. You might take five steps forward and three steps back, but you still made progress. This can also be information that comes in for you revolving around this and revolving around money, money and investments or streams of income or how to protect your assets or how to create another stream of income for you. And this is the partnership. A new partnership, I feel like. Uh, somebody could be coming in to try to partner with you, join forces, mutual desires, get you out of this rut. Somebody who cares about you. Okay? That's interesting. There is help on its way to you where the Nine of Swords is concerned. So just, you know, sit tight. Right? Jeez. Cards are flying everywhere. Definitely scattered energy where that seven of um, cups is, uh, you know what I'm trying to say, concern. All right, let's get some clarity on the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse position for Taurus. Wheel of Fortune, reverse position. Do they really have to be worried that they're going to fail or is this all an illusion? Wheel of Fortune in reverse position in the fear position for Taurus. Wheel of Fortune, reverse position for Taurus. Six of Pentacles, reverse position. That's interesting. Um, so definitely, obviously, loss of goods or property. You know, a loan or bill comes due. Something around... You know, I feel like in order for you to step out on your own in the Wheel of Fortune, you're scared that you're not going to make it on your own because there's something that you have to give up in order to step out on your own. Whether this is your current career and paycheck and salary, whether it's your marriage and the security that comes with the marriage and the finances, whether it's your pension, whether it's your insurance, there's something here that you have to give up in order to step out on your own, but not to worry. It's going to be worth the sacrifice. This is a card of celebration, milestones, uh, setting down roots somewhere new, building a new life for yourself. Spirit is telling you not to worry. Take, take, take the leap, leap of faith. Do it, do it, do it. Okay? Let's get some clarity. Fool, look at that. The fool just popped out. Isn't that interesting? Yes. You're going to be starting on a new journey. That fear of failure is an illusion. Let's get some quick clarity on the Knight of Cups in reverse position for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know about the Knight of Cups as the outcome card? There's two or three cards here. I'm not going to go with those. Knight of Cups, reverse position for Taurus. Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, reverse position for Taurus. What do they need to know about this Knight of Cups? Five of Wands in the reverse position. So this is, you know, squabbles, obviously, with this individual, right? There could be relief after conflict with this individual. Um, and that the things are going to have to come to a head with this person in order for you to break free from it. Yes, four of uh, swords in the reverse position. It's time to get moving. It's time to get back to work. It's time to... Stand your ground with whomever this is. Uh, the Four of Swords is back, getting back in the game, right? Renewed action. Go time. Go, go, go. There's no time for rest now. you got to step forward, step out on your own, especially with the Eight of Wands. Here, this is telling you full steam ahead, green light, you, you know? Okay, Five of Cups, upright position. Sadness, loss, and regret. Dealing with this Knight of Cups in the reverse position. This person obviously is, is um, difficult. And some of you already know who this is. They're going to bring nothing but sadness and grief with them. But not to worry because, again... You've got two cups here that are still in the upright position. Not all is lost. You are going to let that person go. You're not going to try to clean this up or salvage it. You're going to turn your focus back on yourself. You're going to save yourself. You're going to salvage what's left of your life. And you're going to step forward to create something better for yourself. The star card. 
in the reverse position. This is indicating difficulty accepting help being offered to you from others and or from spirit. So let the ego go. Let your pride go. People want to step in. They want to help you. Let them help you. Also, call on spirit and or pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities that are coming in for you. Spirit is trying to guide you on your journey, but if you're closed off to it, you're not going to see the signs and you're just going to be you know, going around in circles forever. So open yourself up. Strength, reverse position. Hmm. Where this individual is concerned, they are definitely, yeah, this is a card that talks about being bullied, right? Fearful, depression, you know, feeling weak and or illness and sickness. You know, whoever this Knight of Cups is, you need to cut ties with them because they are going to send you down a rabbit hole and it's going to, you know, be to your detriment. It's going to, it's going to break down your spirit. It's going to whittle away at you. It's going to deplete you mentally, emotionally, physically, psychologically, spiritually. No good. Okay. There you go. Moon card. You already know this though. Your your intuition, your psychic ability and awareness is on point. It's heightened now. Pay attention to the feelings that you get underneath the surface, vibrations you get off of people or situations. Pay attention to your dreams. Spirit's trying to send you messages through that. Also, anything that's been hidden, anything that happens at night will always come out in the light of day. Anything that's been hidden from you, lies, deceit, manipulation, it's going to come out. You're going to learn the truth and it's going to give you the answers that you need as well as the strength that you need in order to make that decision to finally cut the tie yeah some of you your heart's going to be broken and where this knight of cups is concerned um, or just heartbroken over the situation it doesn't have to be romance and love for some of you it is others of you this is just heartbreak over this situation it's going to it's going to hurt, you know? Something here. This knight of cups could be anybody. It could be your your parent. It could be your sibling, your best friend, your coworker, your boss, somebody that you've known your whole life. So there's always going to be, you know, that kind of pain when there's lies and deceit or something that comes out and you learn the truth. 7 of wands in the reverse position. Feeling daunted by this situation, you know, and you're going to retreat from confrontation where this individual is concerned. You're going to feel vulnerable. You're going to feel overwhelmed and you're just going to feel like you're fighting a losing battle because again, with the strength card in reverse position, you don't have the strength to, to do this and you don't want to do it and you just, you just, ugh, it's like dead weight. So you're, you're just going to retreat from confrontation. Knight of Wands, fire energy, information coming in for you, and the potential for travel, for travel for pleasure, travel for business, okay? This is also escaping from a difficult situation. You are going to escape from this situation because something is going to come to a head, and that pivotal point of change is going to push you over the edge to the point of escaping and retreat, right? Changes in the air where this, where this Knight of Wands is coming in. And this could be an, an important event that comes in or an important piece of information that comes in revolving around the situation with this Knight of Cups. And it's also going to give you the strength you need and all the reason in the world to move on from this person. Five of Swords in the reverse position. Vindication. The end of dealing with the Knight of uh, Cups. The end of malicious gossip and slander. The end of being bullied where this person is concerned. You will be cleared of wrongdoing. Their treachery will be revealed. And people will see this person for who and what they really are. The chariot card, you will receive, you will not receive, you will um, feel balance again in your life where this is um, concerned. Uh, and you'll make progress through balancing opposing forces between yourself and this person and other people or dynamics of the situation, okay? And you will feel clear on your purpose again, and you will be determined to move forward with whatever your purpose is. Ace of Swords, don't let this person continue to throw their weight around. 
This is throwing the weight around, bullying energy, trying to use intimidation uh, to make you doubt yourself or, or back down, uh, abusing of their power, hollow victory, heavy handedness. Don't let them do it. Don't let them get away with it. The only reason they're coming around and continuing to try to poke a sleeping bear is because they're pissed that you're not only taking your power back, but that you are moving away from them, that you're cutting a tie and you're moving on without them. You're going to leave them behind and it pisses them off because they no longer have the upper hand. So don't let it happen. Magician card in the reverse position. Again, the trickster. You're dealing with a trickster. They're going to try to block your energy moving forward as long as you don't let it happen. Ace of Wands, reverse position. You can't get going because this person's trying to stand in your way, right? Unfulfilled promises, dashed hopes, delays, spinning of your of your wheels or their wheels. There's selfishness involved here. They are going to try to stand in your way in one way or the other. All of these cards point to it. You can't take the easy way out. You are going to be putting your nose to the grindstone and you are going to get to work. This is the apprenticeship card. So something needs to end with this person so that you can be free to go and work on yourself and work on your projects or work on your plan to move forward in life. Um, you know, honing your, your talents, skills, and abilities, further education, even um, studying self studying self education or taking classes and training it's all about self improvement with your talents and your hard diligent work so you yeah you're going to move forward with that be careful not to be snowed by whoever this is this is telling me that your intuition is a little in denial or it's a little buried or off Okay, you're not listening to your inner voice. So you've got to get back in touch with yourself, Taurus, and don't keep falling for whatever this bullshit facade is, whatever, you know, line of crap they're feeding you or trying to manipulate you with. Don't be so gullible to fall back into this situation because this person doesn't want to let you go. But I'm telling you, it's a toxic uh, connection and or union and you need to move on from them. You have to, because it's not going to go anywhere. They're trying to get you back in their grip. And if you do, you will be rewarded. Here is the sun card. This is beautiful. This is life force energy. Success coming in for you. Fulfillment and satisfaction. A sense of vitality. It's the strength card turning right side up. You are going to feel energetic again. Pleasurable ambitious, confident, looking forward to the future and your life. So Taurus, it is imperative that you cut ties with whoever is toxic in your life, is trying to hold you back, is trying to sabotage you, is trying to keep you in their grip. This is a toxic relationship, whether it's romantic, whether it's business, whether it's family related or friend, it doesn't matter. This person has a grip on you, they've had a grip on you. Now, for some of you, I feel like for most of you, this person, you already know who they are and they've been in your life for a period of time, okay? Now, some of you out there don't know who this person is yet um, and this person has yet to come in, okay? So now you have this warning and if you don't get involved with them, you will save yourself a lot of headache and a lot of heartache. You can bypass all the bullshit and just step into the sun card and just start start developing that chapter minus uh, even giving this person the time of day. Okay, very interesting reading for you. Please write me and let me know what you thought of it um, and all the clarification cards. Um, very interesting energy. All right, let's move on to your oracles. Dreamer. You got dreamer. I think someone else did too already. Dreamer, dreamer, dreamer is in the air. Your dreams have chosen you. Find fulfillment in pursuing your destiny. This is the magic of life. So you have got to really get back in touch with yourself and realign yourself with your heart's desires and your soul's purpose and what you're meant to do here, your destiny. Because whatever's going on over there in your reading, there it's a lot of white noise and drama and, and obstacles and delays that are unnecessary. They're, they're, they are distracting you from what it is that you need to be doing. Oh boy, Taurus, look at this. Notice the signs. Wow. Spirit has been trying to get your attention for quite a while. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. 
We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. Notice the signs. And if you're like, well, Leanne, I'm not getting feathers and coins, then it's something else. What has been repeating in your environment across your path? Is it repeating numbers? Is it a repeating theme? Is it butterflies? You know what I'm saying? Or ladybugs? I know we're not in the season for those, but you know, I'm just trying to give you, a, you know, trying to give, give you some typical, uh, is it pine cones? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, it is there for a reason. It's trying to get your attention. Notice the signs. Signs, signs everywhere. Signs, right? And, um, and uh, you know, just pay attention, man, because they're trying to guide you on your path. Okay? Now, in honor of Valentine's Day and the Lover's Month, or the Month for Love and Romance, I pulled cards from the uh, Romantic Angel Oracle deck and also the Lover's Oracle. Interesting. Taurus. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be for all of you out there. Okay, so if this if you don't feel like this resonates with you, then it's not for you. But also, this doesn't have to just only be romance. For some of you, this could be unrequited love in other areas of your life. Friends, family, partnerships, business, career, unrequited mutual feelings. You know what I'm saying? There isn't enough common ground here or foundation here to keep anything going with this person or group of people if it's not love related for you. But for some of you, it's love, it's romance, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Interesting. Either your kids or your significant other's kids if you have a blended family or you're dating somebody who already has children. Some of you don't have children and you're not dating anybody who has children. So you're like, well, that doesn't apply to me. This could be your unborn children waiting to come in. So keep that in mind. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. Pay attention to the red flags. Wow. These are some pretty profound oracle cards for you. The signs are cautioning you. Profound, yes, and also in comparison to your tarot reading, you had a lot of warnings there. There's red flags all around you, whether it's romantic or not. Pay attention, pay attention. The red flags are universe's way, spirit's way, angel's way of trying to let you know there's danger ahead. Do not put your hand on the hot burner. You will get burned, okay? So if you, if you ignore the signs... If you ignore the signs, <laughs> all right, that's all I need to say. And last but not least, your lover's oracle. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Interesting forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Point of attraction and law, point of attraction, law of vibration. Last but not least, Taurus, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. Your perception and, I'm sorry, let me start that over. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. That's a doozy. I know that's easier said than done, but you know, they're trying to send you a message. Work on that resentment, anger, bitterness, blame, shame, guilt. You know what I mean? Toxic emotions, they'll keep you stuck. All right, Taurus, write me, let me know what you thought of this reading. I wish you guys the best mwah, mwah, in the month of February. Namaste. We'll see you back here in March. Bye.